I've been to uh, quite a few of these uh, situations overseas, particularly in the Caribbean, but I can say that this one is as bad as anything I've ever seen. Well, you, you're looking at uh, winds that got up to 200 miles an hour, which is at the very top end of the uh, hurricane category spectrum, and um, sea surge, and um, the thing with this hurricane was not only was it extremely powerful, it was also a slow-moving hurricane, so it sat over the islands that it hit for a long time, and that's when they do the most damage, and unfortunately there was a considerable loss of life, uh, particularly in, in Abaco, and... Um, it's a, a sad fact that we'll never know exactly how many people were lost because there's a lot of um, uh, Haitian immigrants that were in uh, shanty towns that have been washed away and um, it's a human tragedy that I think will never be fully documented. As you can see, a bit of devastation. Um, this is Marsh Harbour on Abaco, which was one of the first places that Hurricane Dorian made landfall. So it took the full brunt of the wind and the rain and everything that went with it. I take the time to sit and listen to each and every individual experience. A lot of them are very harrowing and very upsetting. We're seeing as many claims as quickly as possible, maintaining the highest level of service. That despite many challenges that arise on a daily basis. We're supporting clients and customers by getting out and visiting their claims as quickly as we possibly can. Now in a position where we can settle claims, try to give them what they need to rebuild their lives. To help these people get back to some form of normality is a humbling experience and to see them having lost everything still have a smile on their face is pretty special.